Hi everybody. This is a quick little video that kind of piggybacks on the main video for the order screen and the pricing calculator. I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to set your own price on a custom order if you need to override the calculated price. I'm here in an order with the line item open to the pricing calculator. This is a cake I'm pricing as a whole, not by the serving, and that's why I'm going to enter 1 as the number of servings. I'm going to go over to my recipes tab and add my recipes. And then over to my materials tab to add my drum and my box. Now back to the order information. I will enter the number of hours and my overhead and hit calculate costs. You can see that the calculated price is $57.25 and the price per serving is the same at $57.25. So say that's not what I quoted my customer or for some other reason I need to change the price of the cake. So I will change the price per serving and I'm going to enter $45 and then I'll click save. You can now see that this line item has been added to my order at $45. Now I'm going to add an item where I charge by the serving. For instance, it's a wedding cake, and I'll show you how easy it is to change to your own price per serving also. So I'm going to add this item to my order. This cake has 75 servings, so I'll add my recipes and materials. And with my recipes and materials added, I'll flip back over to order information again and I will add my hours and my overhead. And then I'll click Calculate Costs. Now, I can see that the calculated cost has gotten me around to where I need to be, but I need to make this a round number. So I'm going to change $4.94 per serving to $5 per serving and then click Save. When I click Save, it will take me back to my line items, and I can see that this line item has been added to my order with the price per serving, $5 per serving, that I just manually entered.